So I totally got this one wrong because Neville, when they said Tropical Storm Gonzalo could become a hurricane on Thursday, people were asking me if it's this Thursday. I said, no man, next week. It is in fact today. Um, it continues, our med service continues to monitor it. Tropical Storm Gonzalo, it's expected to be strengthened into a hurricane today. Um, the system which was last night heading towards the Lesser Antilles would not move close to Jamaica until about one week's time. Wow, I was hoping by that time it just would have just disappeared. Well, hopefully by that time it will. I didn't even know it was going to be a hurricane Dissipate. heading to the Lesser Antilles. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, that looked like it coming straight at us, but yeah, we're a week away, so hopefully the wind and everything will change its course. Mm. Um, but we had some rain yesterday. I don't know if it had, had anything, anything, had to, do anything to do with this. But, but there you have it. By, yeah. by, by Sunday, it's aiming at um, St. Lucia. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It says it's packing maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. Um, it's east of the southern Windward Islands with a forward movement of 14 miles per hour yesterday. And 14 is pretty slow, I think. Um, we just have to pray for our Caribbean. Yeah. We're looking at Dominica, Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. They're suggesting that they should monitor the progress of the system. We can you imagine Neville yeah. dealing with COVID and then Gonzalo. All right, this one. The headline says, Market Me Bailed Out Broke Ministry. Ministry of Health and Wellness admits to not owning Jamaica Moves brand. Um, revelation was made as the ministry published reams of contracts and invoices on its website on Tuesday, a week after the controversy started. Um, the permanent secretary said that the ministry spent approximately 300 million in outsourced communication and advertisement placements for the 2019-2020 fiscal year. Now, according to a memorandum issued on October 2017, and I'm reading here, folks, Tufton had requested a meeting with various medical officers to discuss Jamaica moves at the Medallion Hall Hotel, but based on the time of the fiscal year, the ministry said it was short of cash and proposed that market me pay the hotel with the intention of reimbursement at a later date. That amount was 174000 and a bit. The permanent secretary said why that arrangement was not standard practice. It was not isolated, he said. Yeah, it's not isolated. A ministry is based on their budget cycle. Will, will or will not have access to, to funding. And I guess since they were the organization that had been given a contract, mm -hmm. you know, I guess upfront the money and then you, it, will come, it will be reimbursed, I yeah. guess, but. I think we, we, we haven't heard all of yeah. this. Yeah, Dion Jackson did. Miller had a, an interesting interview with the PS. Yeah. My, my, my thing is, let, let, let me, I'm gonna yield until I get more info. It's the yeah. issue of the intellectual property. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to find out from other marketing companies or agencies if that's what usually pertains. From what I get out of the story, not just this, from what I've been hearing, is that a contract was, was given and not everything was done that's normally done. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I'm told that what was done is not necessarily wrong either. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so there is a, this is what I'm getting from it. This is my personal opinion that it seems like there's nothing wrong with what was done, but it's just not the, the standard we are doing it. This is what I got. And I agree with Dela. I need to understand a lot more. Before, yeah, when yesterday, before. yesterday, as you know, many of call some marketing people and ask them, yeah. how do these contracts usually go? Because yeah. it seemed weird to me that they would own Jamaica Moose, but I don't know if that is what happens. Yeah. I, I mean, like when we were named TVJ, who kept the, the IP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. I, I need to find out. We'll find out for sure. But we need to find out. Yep. Number three says out. what? Number three, lucky number three. No, I'm in a redundancy and I don't want to read no. it. Hotels on brink of bankruptcy. Yep. They plead for a 90 day layoff extension. Yeah, we're going to be talking about this in one of our interviews later on. Yeah. Um, because the hotels are broke, and mm -hmm. apparently, when you lay off the people, you tell them that you lay them off for 120 days, four months, and then you're supposed to be paying them again. So the hotel is saying, Boy, we're broke now. 
So I could them off a little bit longer. And mm. the unions I say, no, 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 to give. This is what I, again, this so is my I'm understanding. encouraging Jamaicans. Yesterday they launched the Rediscover Jamaica campaign. Yeah. And we'll be talking about that later yeah, on. Do. You'll be talking if about that. If you can go and support the hotel, uh, and yeah. not just the hotel, support on a fellow Jamaican. Because yeah. the tourism industry employs a lot of people. Final one says high school registration packages limited to $5,000 and no cost at primary level. Some schools, I suspect, are charging more than that. But ministry say you can't charge more than five thousand. I don't know what that cover. Every year, ministry say you can. And when you say the them, registration say packages, because some packages have all kinds of stuff in there. You have all kinds of, you know, polo shirt. But sometimes you go and then the school said that is the five thousand for the ministry package. And but then some other things. You have to do so and so. Yeah, and, so and, so. and the ministry said they're not supposed to charge you, yeah. and then they're charging. Why we're in it's such cool, a But we're what I want to know is what's going to happen in September. I just really want to know what is the final word on September morning when it comes. Are children going to go back into the classrooms collectively? Are we going to go back to shift? Some come a morning, some come a evening. Some are going online, some are going... I don't know. I don't know either. I was, I was talking about it. Um, I know at St. George's College, I think there are about 1,400 boys. Mm -hmm. And they have, some, they have some young ladies also. Can't remember the amount. Um, but say you start school September, as you say, September morning, and I suspect people will have to do temperature checks and stuff before you enter the school. I also suspect that a lot of the children will get there at the same time, so which would suggest that there's going to be a line, which would suggest that um, people might be turned back in that line because of their temperature. Somebody might sneeze in the line, and the way we've been going on, like we don't have much sense, it, at certain places, that person might get all beat up and all kind of foolishness. So I didn't even reach the classroom yet. And then what happens when you go into the classroom? Because there are 35, 40, 45 kids in a classroom. As Delia said, unless you stagger it. Because I don't even think a shift would help because then oh, half of a go earlier is still 700. And you're going to need more teachers than yeah, more people. Yeah, it's still 700 boys at that one stage, you know. So I, I don't know unless you said some start school 7 o'clock and then the next come in 8.30 and the next come in 11 mm. o'clock. I guess that's a shift. One of the models Canada is proposing is, and, and I'm saying proposing because what they've done is they put it out to the parents and they're waiting on them now to provide their feedback to make a decision is that um, children will come to school on odd days, so some will come Monday, Wednesday, Friday, while the others stay home and learn online. And then those will come in, you go home. So, that, so it happens in both places. That's one model. The other thing, you know, I heard, and I'm certain he said 30%. I heard the president of the Jamaica Teachers Association. I'm positive he said only 30% of the youngsters were learning online overall. Yes, man. Right? No, that means 70% don't go to school from March. Mm -mm. If he's right. Mm -mm. But say I'm even wrong and say 60% did learn and or 70%. You still have 30% of the youngsters who never had any kind of schooling from March. since March. From March. What do you do now? You just put them up into a higher grade with the kids who were learning all along? Or do you repeat them because they weren't learning, which might not necessarily be fair? I don't know. There but was it a, seems that some of the kids will be here and some will be so here. There was a, so there was a, 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 a statement, I believe, out of the ministry some time ago that they would assess the students when they came in September. But I was saying if you assess them, you probably don't get that result till October. By that time, and you try to funnel them into where they need to go midterm mm -hmm. you know so it really we really have to sit up and maybe they have worked it out you know yeah. but we just don't know what that workout has been and, and it is easy it for is. us even us here to sit down and say they must do this, do this and, and they must, must do, do that. that but I, I can't imagine being in charge of education now because I don't know if I, didn't, I would know where to go yeah. I mean even in school boy football you're talking about 120 and schools it's a lot. who play high school football um, the Castle Cup and Manning Cup mm -hmm. um, if, if you play a Manning Cup game without a spectator. You have 22 players from each side, that's 44. You have seven officials from each side, another 14, that's 58. Mm. The three match officials, that's 61, without even an ambulance people, and they usually have three. That's 64 people at the park without one single spectator, mm. 64. How are you going to ensure that everyone is safe in that 64? Yeah. To test one person is 70 US dollars. And if you're going to test the players, I suspect you'd have to test them for every game. In other words, if we have a game Monday, we're going to test them Monday. And if we play again Thursday, we're going to test them again. Who's going to pay for this 70 US dollar per test lot. 
per person, it's not per lot. team, you know, it's per person, per test. But you so, said what you're, so this is what I'm saying, it needs constant yeah, dialogue. Yeah. So the questions you have, sometimes they're not even thinking, you know. So if you give the feedback and the coach said, by the way, because what pertains for you in, yeah. in, in Kingston might be different from the rural coach as well. Yeah. They might also have been things yeah. to worry about. Yeah. So how do you work? Because they have to transport the kids in the bus. It's strange, and, man. And have, so you have it's to strange. sit and have constant it's strange. dialogue. You know, even the test series in England, I don't know if you know, Joff, uh, Joff I think it's Joffrey's name, it's Joffrey Archer, who plays for England, born in Barbados. He was left out of the second test because they call the series a biosecure series. So they actually live at the park. So if the game is at Sabina, they live they at Sabina. Sabina. They don't leave till the match done. But when the game ended from, I think it was called the AGS Bowl, they were heading to Old Trafford. And my man stopped by him house. And they had to leave him out. And they said he couldn't play again until he was tested negatively three times. So he's all right now, they say, and they had to test the person, I think it's a family member who he went to, and they had to test him. So it's, it's very, very, you know, it's, it needs dialogue. it's technical, it's, it needs dialogue. you have no idea. And then even again, going back to, to high school football, I, I think the, the, the officials are saying they're going to use just a few venues, so you won't play a match at Jardis and at KC and one at Holmes. They probably use stadiums, Sabina, stadium East. I don't mm -hmm. know. But then they have to sanitize the entire place, yeah. the whole place, the stands. I mean, Spraying whether you have stands or whether they have spectators or not, the mm. bench, the goal post, all that, it's... it's. You are, and never what you're saying is something that, okay, so the banks, mm -hmm. I drive past the banks, I see people outside, you know, the yeah, hot man. sun yeah, lineup. I've seen food places, people are outside waiting on the numbers yep. to go down to go in. So, so, so I don't know if it means you have to bring in extra people or you have to find better systems, but I, I can't have to see people line up for it's a, it's hours. A, it's a new norm. No, I but pray, they line up for hours, not for beat, never mind. They can't find I better ways I pray ways that we come up people. with something, a drug or something that you can't say, boy, we're safe. But I think until that happens, we cannot say that we are safe. No. People coming in, I think in the last four days, we've had, what, was 16, 19, Last night was six, it was about 14 in the last four days. Uh, that sounds to me like it's it, it going so. And for many, many nights, we were just one and two and one and none and, you know. But you open the borders. And if you open the borders, uh, most of the, 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 the positive tests now are people who, who come from overseas. Yeah. But when you come from overseas and you interact with local people, anything could happen. Yeah. Anyway.